Hello sunshines and welcome back to another weekly reset. Today's video is full of cleaning motivation, some food prep, and a little bit of mom life at the end. I hope you're all doing great today. As you can see, we're going to get started in my kitchen today, getting these dishes all washed up really good. Uh, we have one rack in the dishwasher, so I don't mind washing these dishes that don't fit in there. Anyway, let me know in the comments how you guys are doing, and I'm going to go ahead and just get started, motivating you all to get started, uh, get your week started off on the right foot, I mean. I never really know what to say when I'm doing the voiceovers for these videos, but I read this devotion and I really wanted to share it with you all. It's something that I have recently gone through, and a lot of you have actually messaged me and said that I've helped you turn back to God and um, get back to your relationship with Him. So I just wanted you to know that I'm not perfect and I fall off of my um, like Bible study a lot. It's sad, but I do. Just wanted to, wanted you to know I'm not perfect. So like, don't be like me. Be like Jesus. But I wanted to read you guys this because it really, it was what I needed to hear and it's really encouraged me. And I'm here to encourage you, so I hope you enjoy it. And what better way to get your week started off on the right foot than getting your relationship back and, um, you know, loving the Lord. So anyway, it's entitled, Draw Near to God. And the scripture is, Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, double-minded people. James 4, 8. Is that harsh? A little bit, but you know, sometimes we need a little tough love, am I right? Okay, it says, There may be times when God seems far away. You may feel as if your prayers go unheard. James said there is a simple reason for this and a solution. If you are far from God, it is because your sin has separated you from Him. God is unchanging. His character stays absolutely holy. His faithfulness remains constant. It is we who change. We allow sin into our lives. We choose our own direction. We spend less and less time with Him in Bible study and prayer. Then, one day, we realize that we have gradually grown distant from God. The solution, according to James, is straightforward. We are to draw near to God. As we realize our need to be closer to the Father and we begin to return to Him, He meets us even as the Father hurried to meet His prodigal son. Drawing near to God requires you to take two actions. First, you must cleanse your hands. You must cleanse your way of living. Isaiah 1.15 If you have been actively engaged in sin, you must renounce it. If you have done anything to offend or hurt someone, you must make it right. Second, you are to purify your heart. Psalm 51.10 You must make certain your attitudes thoughts, and motives are right in God's eyes and are in harmony with God's word. Jesus warned, you cannot serve two masters, Matthew six twenty four. It is impossible to love anything else as much as you love God and still please him. If God seems distant, do what is necessary to cleanse your hands, purify your heart, and draw near to him. I just absolutely love that, and I know somebody out there is going to appreciate that. Thank you for listening, and if, if you like that, please give me a heart in the comments so that I know you enjoyed that devotion. It's just, I'll give you an example of engaging in sin. I personally have a conviction of certain TV shows and movies not to watch, and one of my convictions is I don't watch scary movies, um, and I'm not saying nobody should watch them, but for me... I get physically ill watching them. They give me anxiety. I have nightmares. I remember too many details. And so the Holy Spirit's like, girl, quit watching that stuff. It's not of God. You don't need to consume it. So I stopped for a long time. And then the past couple of weeks, I've stopped praying as much. I uh, wasn't reading the Bible every morning. I would just like sleep in or I'd be like, I'm too tired. I've got too much to do. And now my spiritual life has suffered for it, and I have been going through more anxiety and depression. Um, but I watched this movie called A Knock at the Cabin. I think it's on, I think we watched it on Peacock. 
I only got to, through like maybe 45 minutes of it, and then I was sick the rest of the night. I knew better than to watch it, and I didn't listen. And so that's when um, I went to bed, and I was like, I'm sorry, God, I shouldn't have watched it. And then the next morning, I got up, and I read this devotion, and it just, I totally poured my heart out, and I was like, I'm so sorry, God. I'm not listening to the Holy Spirit con- convicting me, and I'm ignoring it, and I'm suffering for it, and I know it's not your fault. This is all me. And so... If you're in that spot too where you've just been kind of ignoring the Holy Spirit and you just feel distant from God, I encourage you to please just draw near to Him. He will draw near to you. He will never, ever, ever abandon you. He loves you so, so much. So, not only are you going to get your house reset for the week and ready to have a wonderful Monday, you're going to get your hearts right too, am I right? Oh, I love it. I love you guys. you're new here hello my name is Jessie and I'm here to encourage you in your homemaking life I am a mother to three boys I'm married to my high school sweetheart Justin you can see here working hard outside tilling up that land oh, such a good hard-working man and I am so excited that you're here let me know if you're new so I can say hello to you in the comments on Mondays I post weekly resets to motivate you to start your week off on the right foot and now we got this ginormous hunk of meat from Walmart and some Ziploc bags. So y'all already know I'm going to slice it open, divvy it up, and put it in these bags to stick in the freezer. And I saw Jenna from Mega Mom puts it in the freezer flattened out so that it stores nicer. So I'm going to do that. And please don't come after me in the comments on how unsanitary this is. I couldn't find my giant cutting board anywhere so i just i promise i highly disinfected the table after i cut up all this meat do you do this too i know that um i've seen several people do it and i'm after finishing it it didn't take as long as i thought it would so i'll probably do this from here on out but do you have any other um neat food storage ideas leave them for me in the comments because i'm definitely into more food prepping right now uh, my friend bethany is an excellent canner i like to watch her i'm learning so much from her i myself have not canned the first thing yet but now since you know i've been watching her for a while i feel pretty confident i could do it whenever i decide to start i do have some mason jars so i mean that's the first step right and then we've got we're getting our garden going so i'm pretty sure i'll have some stuff to can pretty here shortly and stay tuned for friday's video because i'm going to be sharing all the garden updates i'm going to show you our seed haul and um, our garden plans super excited about it so again that'll be friday's video so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be alerted when that video goes live How was everybody's Easter? Did you have a good day? We had a, a pretty good day. You know, I'm starting to realize you need to enjoy the moments with your family because things change and dynamics change. So just be present in where you are now and be thankful for the blessings that you have because one day they'll be gone. Um, but we had a good day. My sister and I prepared lunch for um, my side of the family. My husband had to work, so unfortunately, he was not able to be present for that, but we made um, a ham, which everybody loved. My sister actually made that, and my youngest son, 
<laughs> he loves macaroni and cheese. Like, that's one of his food groups. And he didn't even touch his mac and cheese because he was obsessed with the ham. It's too cute. But anyway, I contributed shells and cheese. And what else did I do? Well, I helped her cook all the food. There was crescent rolls, sweet peas, some carrots, the ham, shells and cheese. Uh, my mom brought some chocolate chip cookies for dessert and made some sweet tea and brought strawberry kiwi lemonade. All in all, it was a really good spread and we had some leftovers, so everybody got to take some of those home. Um, and the kids had a fantastic egg hunt. And the three youngest ones, they are six, four, and seven. And they're like, we're gonna hide eggs for Uncle Justin so he can have a great day just like us. So those little darlings, that's what they did. They hid eggs for my husband. And when he got home, he was a good sport, even though he was tired from working hard all day. He was wonderful and he went out there Sorry, my dog was just shaking. He went out there and found six of the eggs before he was like, all right, guys, y'all are too good. I need y'all to find the rest of the eggs for me. And I'll just stand here and collect them. So, and y'all, they even took candy out of their own eggs and put it in the eggs for him. It was so sweet. I just, I love their little hearts. But um, I hope you all had a wonderful day with your family celebrating Jesus raising up from the dead three days later. And if you didn't know, I mean, if you're not Christian, you might not know. But uh, something I didn't realize wasn't common knowledge. A lot of people think when we say Jesus rose from the dead, we just mean his spirit rose up. But no, we mean his physical body. He is God and he rose up from the dead. Capiche, he's out of that tomb and it is amazing. And he didn't just go straight to heaven. He actually appeared to several people. There's several eyewitness accounts of the resurrection. And not only did Jesus rise up, a lot of other people rose up from the dead, too, and walked around. I want to know who those people were. Can you imagine how scary that was? Have you ever thought about that? This is totally random. This is just how my brain works. I love talking about Jesus, so if you ever have questions, please message me. I also want to say that I know in my usual weekly resets, I have more cleaning motivation, but honestly, my back was hurting so bad by the end of this night that I did not get to do my floors like I wanted. I didn't even get to pick up in the living room. I had the kids pick that up and, you know, I'm satisfied with how this week started and now I can just continue on like I do every week and next Monday will be some more cleaning motivation for you guys. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Don't be like me and forget to write on your bags beforehand. And then I don't do well with just saying like the month of April is month number four. Like even right then I had to make sure it was the fourth month. So I always have to write out the month. So just do whatever works for you. Oats, 
but peanut butter, chocolate chips, and honey. Oh, God, pour the so you put those in. Like Mom. Then you get peanut butter and you measure it out. Mama, I don't like that. Then don't eat it. I even know what it looks like. Then how do you know you don't like it? No, use the other peanut butter first because it's already opened. Spoon. We are doing some more um, pantry cooking, I think it's called, where you just use what you've got to make the food. And my oldest son has been begging for these energy oat balls for a long time now, and I just haven't made them. I said, you know what? Sit down here, son. I'm going to teach you how to do it. And do you know that I failed to do it? We did not end up getting to make the balls because they would not stick together no matter how hard I tried. So I'll show you what we ended up doing at the end here. So the balls did not work out, so we decided to make them into little bars. So I just have to slice them up and those will be their granola bars this week. They look pretty yummy, actually. Got chocolate chips, peanut butter and oats. Yum. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some encouragement. Let me know in the comments if you did. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next one. Be grateful. Give grace. God bless.